Hello, 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 people. It is me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And we have found our first job in the Homeless to Hero Worldwide Journeyman Save. We are in Cairo, in Egypt. We are managing Coca-Cola FC. What a team name to be starting off with. And so, just before we do get started looking at the FM bits, I just want to have a look at the stadium and the local area we're going to be living in. And so, let's get cracking with episode 2 of Homeless to Hero, Coca-Cola Cairo we go. <laughs> Hello people, you can see here we are outside the planet, we are in space, looking at our gorgeous planet Earth here. But let's go and have a quick look at our stadium, you can see I've got it there waiting for you. And so, here we go, round and round, and oh, right there, decent little stadium, decent little stadium that. Running track around the pitch though, which I'm not the hugest fan of, because it does mean the fans are a million, million miles away. Not that I can imagine if we're in the second division in Egypt, we're going to be selling all this out. But you never know, by the time I leave, we very well might be, hopefully. But pitch surface looks decent. It does look decent, that. At least whenever this was taken, hopefully it still is. But you can see there, we've got a gym. We've got a gym around us there. We've got monkey bars. Monkey bars. The players will be getting trained on the monkey bars, just for a laugh. But the gym, we're going to be using that as well. We've got multiple options for training pitches, it seems. We've got a car park there for when we do start getting lots and lots of fans coming in. That's always nice to see. We've got a mosque there. Ooh, that looks nice. That does look decent. That looks all right. And so, if we're ever in any relegation trouble or anything like that, we know where to be going. And so, if we just have a quick zoom out, you can see here, it's all very much desert. Except when you get over to here, and it's proper busy. Have a look at this over here. We've got a medical park premier. We've got another stadium over there, which actually looks a bit nicer than ours. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a little bit nicer. Ah. Well, okay. That might be a goal one day to get moved over there. Who knows? We've got a college. We've got a ministry of interior. Uh, what else have we got? We've got, a, we've got a medical centre, good, not too far away. I'm sure my players are going to be needing that. And we've got a police academy. And we've got a yet another football pitch. We've got a helicopter parking place. So when I start making millions, that's where I can park my helicopter. And so that is a very quick look at our local area. As I've lost our stadium. I've got lost already. Ha ha ha! It's somewhere around here. Here it is. So there we go. That is our stadium. Let's go and have a look at the team and what mess we've found ourselves in. Alright people, we are here on the home screen. And the first thing you will notice is that we have got the correct skin. So there will be no attributes, no stars, none of that good stuff on absolutely anybody in this save. So that is very, very nice to see. As I've just noticed, the league table is all wonky. Don't know why it was wonky, but it is. And you will see that our first game is against Porto Suez at home. So we'll have to see if they've been on the phone to Evergreen for their big boat. See if they can borrow it, or maybe not now it's finally got moving. But you will see that we are 13th in the league. We've played four, won one, drawn two, and lost one, which is a mm, average, very, very average. But it's better than Suez, who are bottom of the table, having played four, drawn one, and lost three. So hopefully, should be able to do all right today. 
And before we do get into that game, let's just have a quick look at the squad. We've got no average ratings as of yet, apart from for two players. So, yeah, we are properly going into this blind. But you can see on this guy's screen here, Hossam Abdul Wahab. I will be putting regen faces on these people in the coming days. And so, yep, you can see that all we know is that his first touch is decent. His determination might be good. His pace could be all right. And his acceleration and agility is decent. All we get is green, yellow, and I'm guessing that's white for things that he's terrible at. And, well, I do like this little bit of detail here, how the pitch is almost as, is almost as bad as it is in real life. And you can see, like, what positions he can play. So, yeah. Ah, Hossam Abdul Wahab, 25 years old. Ooh, I do like that on this little, on this skin. His game-winning ratio. That's a very nice touch. I've not used this skin before, so I'm learning as well as you are about this skin. He's on £160 a week. He's got a value of 8.25k. And he's a star player who could still improve. Has he played for Egypt? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing not by that. And so anyone else we want to have a look at? Gabar Salem, the only other one with an average rating. He's a central midfielder, 28 years old, £425 value. Jesus Christ, you can buy an Xbox for more than that. Wages, £130 a week. And what have we got here? Uh, he does very well in the dressing room. He's got good current ability for this division. Uh, individual personality, he's got fairly determined. Uh, he's got a fair amount of pace. He's got strongest attribute is first touch. And so, you know what? We're going to go on to the team report. Because this is what I do like to do on the first day of any save. Is go on here and have a look at what our assistant says to us is what we should be doing. Who's strong, who's bad, what formations and all of that good stuff. So, as for our strengths, I won't go through all of them because we've got quite a lot, thank God. But I will just go through a few of them. The players tend to have an impressive first touch. Acceleration is good. Uh, team in general possess a high level of pace. Have we got any which tells us what kind of formation we want to be using? We've got a determined team. That I like. That I do like a lot. Goalkeepers in the team are generally dominant in the air. That's nice. A lot about the goalkeepers. Uh, anything about anyone outside goalkeepers? No? Uh, midfielder, that that fella we had a look at, Hossam Abdul Wahab. He represents superb quality on the left of the midfield. And Salem is excellent in central midfield. The players are a threat to score from long reigns. But no real advice about formations. A little bit worrying. And so, what about the weaknesses? This team isn't the best in terms of finishing. Not good. The squad tend to lack good heading, Wolos, not good at penalties. This group isn't especially blessed with regard to balance. Apparently they fall over a lot. Uh, the squad clearly lacks natural fitness. Christ, give me something to work on, lads. 4-4-2 hasn't been effective, conceding an average of nine chances. We might be going a bit defensive here then, boys. I think we're going to be going defensive and trying to hit teams on the counter. And we've been vulnerable playing against 4-2-3-1 wide. Uh, no players capable of playing in goal to a suitable standard for the first team. All my strengths were pretty much about the goalies. Why are you now telling me that we've got no good ones? Answers on a postcard. Answers on a postcard, please. There are currently no players capable of playing at left back. Rolos, we might be going just three, three centre backs then. There is not a great deal of quality outside the first team. Wasn't expecting much. Um, tackling, the squad tend to lack good tackling. No flair. Um, no strength. Stamina, Rolos. And we've only got £10 in the wage budget. Oh my days. Thank God our first game is against a team bottom of the table, eh? 
this group isn't especially blessed with regard to crossing. And they can't dribble, they can't make decisions, and they can't mark. So, pretty much, we're crap at everything. This is going to be fun, boys. This is going to be fun, boys and girls. And so, let's go squad depth. Let's see, what does our assistant recommend? He recommends 4-4-2, despite us not being able to play it. Or us conceding quite a few chances when playing it. Okay. Well, on that note, we are going... We're going to make a tactic, and I'll make that off camera, and I'll be back with you in a second when that's all finished. We are here on game day, and yeah, this is a tactic I've come up with for this first game. We're going 5-4-1. I'm going to be using this uh, game as pretty much a pre-season friendly, just to see who can do what. And you can't really see it against the background of the skin. I might have to see if I can change that. Because once again, we've changed skin. We're back on the original skin that we was on on the first episode. But you will see that only two players are actual real players, from what I can guess. All the others are greyed out. So, yeah, that really doesn't give me much hope for this job. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be a challenge. The only two uh, white ones are the ones we had a look at before. Salem and Abdul Wahab. But like I say, this is a tactic we've gone for. 5 4 1 cautious. Hit early crosses. Less dribbling. More disciplined. Slightly higher tempo. But playing nice and narrow. Try and keep the game compact. And in transition, we want to be slowing the pace down, holding our shape when we lose the ball, or when we get the ball even, and regrouping when we, yeah, regrouping when we do lose it. And not set any real distribution targets, just because we're amateur players. We're not going to be knowing all that much. And then out of possession... We want to be forcing the opposition outside. A standard line of engagement, but a slightly higher defensive line. Less urgent pressing, just to try and maintain everybody's stamina. And so, with that all said, let's go and crack on and get into our first game in charge of Coca-Cola FC. Alright then, here we are in the dressing room. I'm going to go hands on hips, and I'm going to go, actually, no, yep, I'm going to go hands in pockets. Let's show the world what this team is all about. And that's got one, two, three, four, five, six, half the team motivated. I will take that for a first team talk. And so, let's get into the game. Four minutes into the game, Nasa with the free kick, it gets headed away. And now it's El Sheik on the counter for Porto in the white. We are, of course, in the red of Coca-Cola. It's got through to Fatty. Fatty's only got one defender to run out. He's gone for the shot, and thankfully that's gone wide. And now Sabre almost immediately with the goal kick. It goes long, but only as far as Osman on the left. Osman through to Fatty. Back to Sabre. And Shihata goes out wide to Fatty. And now, what's he going to do? He's going to put it back into Shihata's path. Who goes to El Cisne with a long shot. And oh, it's a worldie of a goal. Oh, Mohamed El Cisne with an absolute beauty. Giving our goalkeeper absolutely no chance. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Um, our instructions to not close down really did come back to bite us there. As well, five minutes in. This ain't a good start to management, is it, lads? 26 minutes gone. Sabre with a long goal kick. We again lose it, but it goes back to Gava. Nassar now with it. Can he find his man up front? Nope. Goes to Salem. And then Abdul Wahab in the middle of the pitch. Out wide to Awad. And now, come on, son. What can he do with it? Can he get it in? Nope. But El Matori can. And El Saik should have got there. There's a lot of El Saiks on this pitch. I wonder if the two are related. Who knows? But now Sabre for Porto. Is he going to play a long ball? He does. He goes to Abdullah. 
El Sesni, who did score that wonder goal. Sihata now. Into Ramadan. Sabre. He goes long and Fatty. Fatty's in and oh, it's 2-0. Oh, oh, we have got a lot, a lot of work on here, haven't we, boys and girls? But was that offside? There might have been a slight hint of offside there, I think. Let's have a look at this. I think he's off. I think Fat Fatty is off there. Honestly, I do. What's the game saying? Yep, the game thinks it as well. And oh, tight. But off. I think he was off. 40 minutes gone, almost half time. Can we get one back before the break? Nabil with it. He crosses it in. It goes to RL Sake, who misses out on it. But Arad. Oh, Arad with the shot. And well, never looked like threatening, really, did it? And that is half time. That has been disappointing. We are 2 0 down to the team, bottom of the table. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start going positive. And then as well as that, yep, I know all this good stuff. We are going to push Arad and NASA uh, up a bit higher. And we're going to try and go for a bit more direct passing. And go play down the left and play down the right. And I think we leave it like that. And we get into the dressing room and see what we can do. Uh, hands on hips. I expect to see a much better showing. Yeah, four people motivated. Not ideal. Oh, just a few minutes into the second half and we've got a free kick. Haney with it and that goes into the deserted stadium. I was told before the game that we'd sold 200 tickets. Where they are, I don't know. 67 minutes gone now. Porto with the ball again. Into El Cesni in oceans of space. And he goes to Abdullah. To El Cesni. Abdullah again. Hanafi were now with it. He goes back to Abdullah. El Cesni. Very nice, patient passing here, as you would expect from a team who are 2-0 up. We will be making some changes after this highlight. As now Gamal has it. The goalie. He goes long and El Sakes on it again. El Sakes has got some pace, obviously. But oh, we've blocked it and it's 3 0. Oh, this is not good. This is not good, lads. This El Sake lad. He's. He's obviously got either decent pace or good positioning. I think it's pace. As he got in the behind there. Our man tried to block it. But El Saik was never going to miss at the second attempt, was he? Okay, 20 minutes left. And this is what we're going with. We're going with a 5-2-3 narrow. Just trying to lump the ball forward. Try and just get onto one of our three strikers who we have now got on the pitch. And we've got our fullbacks now operating as wingbacks to try and get a bit further up and down the pitch. And we have, we've made a couple changes. Nasser on for Rayouf and Abdu Masalam off for Arad. So let's go attacking as well. We're 3-0 down, lads. This ain't ideal. A few minutes after, Porto have got another chance. It's then with the corner. Al Sesni goes to Saeed on the edge of the box. And oh, the keeper spilled it. Oh, what has the goalie done there? Oh, my days. Oh, my God. This is a terrible error from the keeper. He spilled it right into Fatty's path. And that's now 4-0. A minute left of the game. We've got a corner. And, oh, we've got a penalty. Don't know quite what that was given for. But we might finally get our first goal as a manager. And so, who's going to step up and take this? That man's been sent off. Oh, why couldn't this have happened earlier? But now it is 
Abdul Wahab to step up and take the penalty. He's put the ball down. He's taken a long time for a penalty that doesn't really matter. And we have the goal. We have our first goal. And yeah, still a very, very disappointing performance. Much work ahead, but very nice penalty. Maybe Abdul Wahab might turn into the Mark Noble of Coca-Cola FC. As that is how the game ends. 4-1 defeat. We had 11 shots to their 10. 4 on target to their 5. An XG of 1.33. So, we wasn't outplayed. We had more of the ball as well. We wasn't outplayed. It's just that they had their man, El Saik, who caused us all kinds of problems. And El Sesney as well. So, yeah. Much work ahead. Let's go into the dressing room. I'm going to go hands on hips. I'm going to go... Uh, can I just say wheels unlucky? Uh, I can't fault any of you for your performance. Yep, everybody's inspired and motivated. And that is where we're going to leave it for today, boys and girls. Let's just have a quick look at the league table. And then I'll play three or four games uh, off camera. And then I'll be back for episode three on Monday. But yep, league table, you can see it there. We've played eight now. We've got a goal difference of minus nine. And we've got five points. So yeah, we need to start picking up wins and quickly. But yep, that's where we're going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed this video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 21 content and Pro Wrestling Simulator content and whatever other stuff I decide to do. Subscribe for all that good stuff and I shall see you Monday for episode 3. Bye!